Okay, we have a, another gutter clean here today, which I think is pretty interesting to me. <laughs> so this is a local one in town. I pass this place all day, every day. Um, I've been staring at these gutters all summer long, and I decided that I was going to stare at them no longer. So I stopped in here yesterday, and uh, inside on these walls, it's all automated. There's no employees here, nothing like that. Inside on these walls, there is a phone number to call if you have any issues. So I pulled in here yesterday and uh, got the number, called the guy, told him that I want to just make their street appearance better. This is the entrance and this is their junky gutters. And what was really interesting about this conversation was uh, he told me that they were done earlier this year. He said uh, they have guys on staff and uh, they took care of them. And I said, they lied to you. <laughs> And here I am, I got the job. Uh, we're gonna do the front and the back here. You have to be ruthless with your marking. There are too many people out there slipping up. There are too many people that, uh, they're just no good. They're no good. And uh, I flat out told them, I said, they lied to you. I sent them a picture. And here we are this morning, less than uh, less than 12 hours after I gave them a call. So we're gonna get this cleaned up. It's gonna be really quick. Um, get up there with our 20 walk up to the top front and back and then when we're done we're going to pitch a roof job so you can see that that looks like it has been replaced but i can make this look a lot better so we're going to pitch a roof job and uh you'll know if i get it so let's get up here let's do our thing the right way you know it's <laughs> it really is not that hard finding business my buddy Chris, I'm going to have a video on this. My buddy Chris just got, he moved down to South Carolina so he could work more. And uh, he just got a $20,000 apartment job. He went into uh, he went into a couple complexes down there, new in the area, and just told them, this is dirty, I can clean it. Gave him a price. <laughs> and that was it. That's all it is. That's all it is. He, uh, he said they actually wanted two more quotes for two more properties. And it's the same thing here with me this year. I went to that one complex, did a good job. They had me at another one. You just got to get out there. You have to let people know that you do things. You have to let people know that you can do stuff. This was free. I didn't have to market for this. Chris didn't market for, uh, Chris didn't market for his jobs. He just walked in. I think he might have given him a flyer. Uh, talked a little bit with him, let them know that he was going to be their guy to clean the gutters or clean the gutters to, uh, to wash the building. Gave him a quote. So we're going to have a little video on that to come or might even come out before this video depending on when I get around to it. But Finding business and marketing does not have to be complicated. You just have to do it. It also does not have to be expensive. I take I take an expensive route for my marketing because it's uh, it's the easiest. It's the most convenient. When you pay for something, you're paying for convenience. This guy in here getting his car washed is cold, but a lot of people do in the summer. Like you could just wash it at home with a hose. Most people go to a self-automated place and pay for it instead of doing it for free. For the convenience i'm guilty of that i do it all winter long when i'm plowing i pay for marketing because it's convenient i get to reach a lot of people i do a fair amount of marketing i'm trying to do more and more marketing for free this cost me nothing chris got a twenty thousand dollar banger cost him nothing Like this wasn't clean. This wasn't clean this year. Come on. Come on. Come on. Look at this. They didn't clean this roof. Or I'm sorry, they didn't clean these uh, gutters. Straight up lied to the guy. You know what? 
we're gonna have to add time. We're gonna have to add time to this camera because the really easiest way for me to do this is to get my my hat, my hat and GoPro. Stand by. Let's go right back here and do uh, the backside. And then we can make our way down to the ladder. I'm, uh, I'm actually really hoping that these are relatively empty. I don't know if they're going to be, but it's a big tree up front, a lot of pine back here. Some leaves over there. Empty all the way down until here, so. Oh, yeah. See, here by the river this morning. Woo! You see that? Woo! <laughs> Frozen. Yes, sir. Should have brought a hammer. Chunky. Chunky. Oh. Shit, well if this <laughs> if that ain't uh if that ain't easy.
I mean, I'm actually having to work here. And the other guy that said he did it would have had it a lot easier. He would have had it a lot easier. All right, we only got a couple sections here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to fit this in our bucket. <laughs> this is uh, this is pretty funny. I've never had to do this before. I've done some cold gutter cleaning, but yeehaw. Come on, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I just pulled this whole section. Come on. Uh, look at that. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, okay. A little bit down there, we'll get that. That's all pretty good down there. Get my knife in my pocket. Okay. Oh, man. Make a little work for the leaf blower down there. Oh, they're cheap, cheap gutters. Can't put your feet on them. There's nothing better than the people that buy those real good gutters and you can hold yourself. But you never want to damage anyone's stuff, so I won't be doing that. Well, it is really nice to be able to do that sometimes.
<laughs> oh, this is this is funny. This is funny. It's actually uh, best case scenario because it's cold out, and this would have just been ooey gooey, ooey gooey junk that uh, wouldn't have been fun. We let the saw out. Yeah, this is like just the roof. Just all the shingle junk and uh, I knew that was coming. I'm trying to keep the, I'm trying to shift some weight to the back of the bucket. You gonna want to go? Come on, you fucker. Come on. There we go. All right, let's take this down before we have uh Papi Chulo.
for this section I should have brought a garden trowel. getting there Chunky. Man, <laughs> guys, these were done earlier in the year. These could, these haven't been done in years, man. They haven't been done in years. All right, we're not gonna be able to fit the rest of this bucket. Let's take this down. <clears throat> We got uh, that little section left, one more bucket. We'll clean this little section up on our way out. out there.
Man, this side is, uh, <laughs> this little end piece here is real frozen. Thick. Come on. You're telling me that was done? When I post this online, I'm going to send this link. I'm going to send this link to the property owner because they have other properties. So if they're getting jerked around on other properties, what am I always saying? I'll be their guy because their guy is shit. He ain't worth, he ain't worth a nickel. He's a liar. It's a liar. It's good for me. Yes, baby. Okay. Let's go do this last section by the ladder. And we're done. Woo! Frozen drain slowed us down. We're done. So I'm gonna weep all this and then uh, I'll be back in the truck, I think. Well, I had my handy dandy little hat. My little hat uh, GoPro mount on, so I hope that I got some stuff. Um, we're done. It's uh, about 10 o'clock. We're actually done for the day. We did two gutter cleans this morning. And uh, I bought myself a new rifle. I'm very excited about it. I'm gonna go check that out today and uh, pick that up and spend the day in the woods, maybe shooting some rounds. So thanks for uh, tuning in. Like and subscribe and support the channel. And uh, you better believe we'll be back. We'll see us again. Bye.